Right here on Morning Rush, like I promised you, uh, we do have uh, two special guests in the studio who are going to help me talk about uh, the big game on a Sunday. Uh, to my left, I do have Caps United, Captain uh, Tundurai Mateonga. Tundurai, uh, welcome to Morning Rush. How excited are you for the Harada Derby, especially given that we're playing it here in the capital? Thank you, Tish. Hey, it's always an honor playing for Caps United or Denimo Soilinda is playing these games. As a player, it shows really how far you've come playing football. So it's a game that everyone wants to express himself and show the people who he is or what he can do. So I'm hoping that me and my boys will show up to, to the day and give our best for our, for our fans. And also to my <coughs> right, I do have uh, Dynamo's Vice Captain Emmanuel Jalai. Emmanuel, uh, first of all, congratulations. I know you recently uh, garnered 100 caps uh, for Dynamo. So I'm sure that's been a wonderful experience for you. How excited are you uh, for the derby this weekend? Yeah, thanks, Teach. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that football is back in Harare. It's been long since our uh, football has been played in Harare. So to come back in Harare with a derby, it's a motivation for us as, uh, as players. Uh, it's been tough for us. Uh, we've been traveling all along. So to be playing uh, in Harare, it's a motivation for us. You say it's been tough, obviously, you, uh, Dynamos in particular have been flying in and out of Harare to the City of Kings uh, playing there, but you've actually had a good run in Blaue. I think you only tasted defeat for the first time uh, uh, this past weekend. Uh, maybe what was that like for you guys uh, playing in Wolaya? and maybe what are some of the differences uh, that you picked up uh, from uh, between playing at the National Sports Stadium and Bubble Falls? Yeah, yeah. In the, as Dynamo's uh, Blauai has been second home for us, so there was no big difference uh, playing in Blauai. And uh, a plus for us uh, in some of the games we've been flying, which is uh, a plus for us as players, because in terms of fatigue, yeah, it comes fatigue, but uh, the rate of fatigue that you get when you're traveling with bus and uh, flying is different. So it's been a plus for, for us, because uh, I think we lost only one game when we played in Blauai. So it's a reflection of uh, how we've been traveling uh, as Dynamos. So are you already missing Vlaoyo? Because obviously having had such a good experience flying there, uh, getting positive results, or you know, home comforts are best? Yeah, our home is always the best. So we are ready to play here in Harare. We are hoping for positive results as they were coming in Vlaoyo. All right, uh, Tonde, I know you guys have been playing at Butter Stadium in Gweru. First of all, how did the community in Gweru welcome uh, you guys as Caps United? And what was that experience like for you guys playing in the Midlands? Uh, thank you. At first, teach, it was not easy. You see, Gweru has not had a team in Premiership, I think, for the past season. So it was, the, it was at first, we were playing in an almost empty stadium, but later on, people started coming, you know. It's unfortunate that we have not been getting the results that we really wanted, but we have been playing better, good football. So we just hope from where we are right now, with playing good football, we will just get results, especially starting with this step. I was looking at uh, your recent form. I think in the last eight matches, uh, you guys haven't won. I think, uh, you know, how challenging has that been for you guys? And how important is it now for you guys to come back uh, to the familiar settings of the National Sports Stadium, where we know, especially in the National Sports Stadium, you guys do have quite a huge chunk of fans who come and support you. It has been tough, Tish. You, you look at the Cape squad, it's, it's, it's compromised with a lot of big character players, but things have not been going well for us like we started. We started this off so well, but we don't know. We, with football, you never know. We, 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 we ran out of things that we, we, we were having before. So now I just hope we're playing with Dynamos at National Sports Stadium, which is also our home, away from home. So we just hope we'll do what we have been doing before this season started and win against Dynamos. But we, we look back at mm -hmm. uh, uh, the reverse fixture. Uh, mm -hmm. Dynamos beat you guys 2-0. Mm -hmm. But one of the standout fixtures for that, uh, standout features of that particular game, I think we had 18,000 official fans coming through and paying to watch. How much of a factor is that when you get, as a player step onto the pitch and you see you know uh, a sea of green in the National Sports Stadium backing you guys and how can that push you guys to maybe break this eight match win the streak that you guys have been on? Our fans are very much important to us and we are grateful for the times they have stayed with us during this winless streak. We just hope and pray that we are going to break this barrier against Dynamos because 
is not proper. We cannot go on like this without a win. We are a big team, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big brand in Zimbabwe. You will not be representing the, 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 the club with justice. So I think the best is to start winning now. But right. Emmanuel, obviously, you guys <coughs> walked away with the bragging rights uh, in the reverse fixture, uh, winning 2 0. You're coming into this game on a relatively better run of form uh, than your opponents from the green half of the city. Is that a situation you prefer to be in, uh, coming in from a more positive and facing a wounded Caps United, or that doesn't matter because it's a derby? Yeah, that doesn't matter because uh, a derby is always a derby. Because both teams, uh, if you look at the players, We've got badges to protect and we've got uh, breaking rights to fight for. So no matter uh, the performance of each team they are running on, it doesn't matter. So getting on to Sunday's game, it's all about who wants more. So we have to give it all and uh, we'll see how it goes. And then obviously uh, the fan factor. I think just before you guys came on, we were carrying that story with different fans in Harare preaching peace, uh, calling for us to just go and enjoy the game. They understand that maybe on the field of play, uh, the tackles might fly, they'll be a bit intense, uh, there might be some contentious decisions. As players, is that something that you guys discuss to say, you know what, as uh, Emmanuel Jalai, the vice-captain, or as Tundrai Mateonga, the, the captain for Caps United, we do have an influence on the, the behaviour of the fans. Is this something you guys are aware of and try to manage during the game, Emmanuel? Yeah, definitely. So, as you can see, sometimes it's us who players uh, who insist, uh, incite uh, supporters to react the way they react in, uh, in other games. So, it's up to us to control them because sometimes uh, a ref makes a decision. The way you react as players, it also incites the, the supporters. So, it's up to us to control them uh, in such games of uh, calibre. Right. And today, uh, as players, do you have a good relationship uh, with the fans in terms of being able to impact their behavior in a positive way? Uh, Emmanuel has highlighted that sometimes, you know, uh, our behavior can, maybe the way you mob the ref or something can incite, uh, you know, the crowd or the fans to act in a certain way. But do you believe you can have that influence to be able to say, you know what, guys, calm down. It's a game of football. It's still to be played and we can get a result from this. Yeah, definitely like, well, like what Emmanuel said. We players, we are responsible for, 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 for some things that happen at the pitch. When a referee makes a decision, we don't have to show the fans that we, we disagree with the decision. Sometimes even if we disagree, we just have to clap hands with the referee and move on with the game. So, but if we react, it also encourages the supporters to react. So as players, we have a big responsibility. We have a duty to play there. We have to be calm so that they come, the, the fans can also be calm and support the game as it should be. We must create an environment that that is conducive for everyone, kids, older people, women, everyone, not to have violence in the pitches. If we have violence at the pitches, people will not come. But some will be scared. What if this happens? What if this happens? These are big games. People should be coming. But some are scared. What if Teremos loses in the fight? What if Cape loses in the fight? So we should all be there for each other. Let's support the referee's decision. Sometimes they are human. They make errors. So we should be there with them. I want you to look into your camera there and speak to the fans. And, and I don't want you to just speak to Caps United fans. Yeah. I want you to speak to Caps United fans, mm -hmm. Dynamos fans, your mm -hmm. message to them come Sunday mm -hmm. uh, when uh, you guys take on Dynamos. Yeah, to the football family, Zimbabwe people, I urge you to come in numbers and watch Caps playing Dynamos. It's going to be a very interesting match. They have a bridge to protect. We also have our bridge to protect. And this game, we are also looking for it to be our regime. Thank you. All right, and then Emmanuel, of course, I think the same thing, your message uh, to the Dynamo's faithful, not just the Dynamo's faithful, but even the other half of the city, because for there to be peace, you need both fans, yeah. sets of fans yeah. uh, to behave, just as well as you guys have not jumped on each other's throats <laughs> throughout this interview. So your camera is right there. You can just uh, speak to uh, the fans and just give them your message on behalf of Dynamo's. Yeah, on behalf of Dynamo's, uh, the players, uh, I would like to encourage your supporters from both ends, Caps United and uh, Dynamos, to come in your numbers. Uh, what we don't like is violence. Uh, we don't support pitch invasion. We don't support violence. We are hoping for a best match on Sunday. Let the best team win.
Let the best team win. I think on the end, he is just sitting behind our cameras. I know he'll be wanting the green machine uh, to come and get mm. a result, but it's going to be exciting. A big thank you to Tundurai yes. and Emmanuel for coming through. As you've seen, they've come, they've sat with us. It's been cordial. We expect to see the same on Sunday. Yes, there will be a rivalry. If I was to ask Tundra, who's going to win? Definitely keeps United. Who's going to win? Dynamos. Dynamos, but you can see, you can still get along despite our different rivalries. But